You can expect to see those big orange warning signs in all the barrels along Highway 31 in Spanish Fort for at least another 18 months. The three mile construction project from City Hall to Rockwell Elementary School has been bogged down by unexpected issues with utility infrastructure. NBC 15's James Gordon has been looking into the issue, James. You know, right off the bat, city officials in Spanish Fort say they've known all along about these utility delays for at least six months now. Aldot says that all the digging and all the detours, well, that's signs of progress. The money for work on State Highway 31 comes from a pot of $86 million in Restore Act, or BP oil spill settlement money. These are dollars that cannot be used for anything else. At least Childs, who doesn't drive and walks everywhere on 31, says progress is everywhere. Well, sidewalk. The sidewalks are wonderful. The curbs are great. We got drainage where we need it. They're planting trees. Early 2020 was the initial completion date. Today it's early 2021. Can't, can't get mad. It ain't gonna make it go any faster, so we just live with it. Patience is a virtue and these guys know it. They live, drive, and work State Highway 31 directing traffic at the Prodigy Pantry. We've just all got to, uh, you know, Work together and don't lose your temper while you're driving. And uh, no road rage. Two weeks from now, Al Dot will begin installing more drainage pipes here. Traffic on 31 will be detoured to Old Mobile Highway, a narrow two lane road for more than 12 days. We can have up to five, six hundred cars just during the normal time of year. If this drags on through into November, we will have five to nine hundred cars coming in and out of our parking lot within a four hour time period. So we're asking our volunteers and our client families to please carpool. Al Dutt will meet again with city officials in Spanish Fort two weeks from now, actually October 9th. They meet every two weeks for a new update on the project. And they also tell us that that meeting will start at 2 p.m. at Spanish Fort City Hall on October 9th. Now we're live at Spanish Fort, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.